Now we need to create the anim notify state class. This class has notify begin and notify end functions and they enable and disable collision at the appropriate parts of the attack animation. If you remember from two videos back when I explained how the system works, perhaps if you've forgotten, you should review that. So basically in the C++ classes folder, we need to make a new class. So if I right click and go for new C++ class or classes, and it's anim notify state, isn't it? It's this one. So you have to click that to create it. Go to next. And I'm going to call this what? I'm going to call it attack anim notify state. So let's create that. So this is the code we get. I'm going to do a bit of tidying up actually. And personally, I prefer this in a, an actual specified private section. Now I need a public one. So if I just um, make these. I don't think I called the... I was going to do this. I don't think I called the super versions. Maybe I should have done it. Let's take them out though. So we're checking to see if the skeletal mesh component is valid and whether it's actually got an owner. Now this function doesn't exist yet in our character. In the other one, it's effectively the same just that we call a different function, which also does not exist, except it's called attack end. And these will, if memory serves, switch the collision on and off. This mesh component can either be the player character or an NPC one, because we're cast into a character base. And if you remember, both the NPC and the player character classes inherit from that. This class will be added to the attack and in montage and will have begin and end markers that can be moved to the appropriate place in the animation track. So when the animation reaches the start marker, notify begin will be called. And when the animation reaches the end marker, notify end will be called. And we are going to enable collision in the attack start function and disable it in the attack end function. So I need to add these to the character base class, not the specific subclasses. So in the public section, we just need to void functions. Like so. I'm hoping now that gets rid of those errors, which it does. So we need to create those. Right, so we've got a right fist collision box. And we're going to set its collision profile name, isn't it, to fist. Remember we created that, uh, why did I do that? That channel called fist. And then we set its collision to enabled. So that are true. This code is almost the same. So we set the collision to false. And what's it saying here? I can make it const and I can make that const to, I suppose I ought to risk and do a build. 
see if this at all works. Well, passes the compiler. So control B, what am I on actually? I'm on development, which is correct, not debug or anything. Okay, a successful build. So in the next video, we'll start finishing up by actually depleting character health when a collision occurs.